Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to learn a quick topic. Okay, how we can execute report definitions from data transform. So this is a very common use case now. Okay, because yes, everyone is saying that we should not use activity, but sometimes we need to execute report definitions from data transform. You can argue that yes, I can do the same thing from that uh, using databases. Okay. But sometimes in some situations you might be needed needing to directly call uh, report definitions okay from rep uh, from data transform but obviously uh, most of the scenario you can like uh, uh, do it using databases as well okay but let's try to learn it okay that if really required okay that we have to execute uh, report definitions from data transform how we can do it and what all issues we can face okay it's a very easy things okay but uh, still uh, there are like few uh, issue which we can get okay if you're writing for the first time so let's try to to learn it how we can do it so we'll go to pega so the first things which you need to know is that this is the activity okay which we need to call that okay from our data transform and that activity name is px retrieve report data and this is there in the base class so obviously if it is there in the base class then you can call on any class page okay let's say you're trying to browse the data for your any data types or you're trying to browse for the case type okay it will work anywhere okay because this is there in the base class and if you see that same name activity is there in report definitions class so basically the actual activity which is there in the report definitions class okay but we have given a kind of a wrapper activity to execute the main so this is the activity which will response which is responsible to uh, run the report definitions and load the data okay but this is being called from this one so that you can execute from the any page okay otherwise you need to have a like if you if you try to execute this one then you need to have a page of uh, rule obj report definitions class okay to avoid that pega have given that so let's try to write a, a data transform and see how we can do it okay from the beginning so the first things which we'll do is we'll say data transform and i'll say run run rd we can say that report definitions from dt let's say we are giving this name okay uh, okay and i can write this data transform in my work class Okay, so we can create in um, uh, without loan app layer. Okay, and then we can select uh, this one or work class and loan. So let's uh, you can create it anywhere. Okay, not a problem depending on your need you need to create. Okay, so let's comment it and let's take a minute. Okay, to see that. Okay, this um, report definitions takes what all parameters. So we need to pass mandatory parameters to execute this one. Okay, so we can take a look of this one as well or we can take a look of any activity so let's take a look this one so py report name and py report class is mandatory rest everything is optional okay you can see that so let's first set these two parameter so this is very much required so let's say so we'll say set uh, so this is just a comment set param r2 set mandatory i mandatory parameter. this is just a comment okay you can you can give a, a better comment okay and then we'll set uh, let's say uh, par py param dot py report name so this is one okay we will find it out which report we want to execute okay and the second is report class so this is the second one and the third we will set the page name as well or we can uh, leave that page name and whatever on which page we are executing that will also work fine okay but we will try to set that let's let's see that okay so we'll try to set py page name as well so this is the three parameter which we are setting it param dot page name okay so let's first find out that which uh, uh, report definitions we are going to execute so i have already i already have a report definitions in my loan class in poc so I can execute that and show you that yes, we are getting 26 results. So this is the RD report definitions, which we are going to execute it from data transform. Okay. 
so now we'll just copy this name and in the first parameter okay where we have this py is a param report name we'll give this one and then second one is that report class so let's say i'll give that case list because it is returning case list page okay and the third one is that uh, page name okay so this will come in a page name sorry and in class name i can give this class okay let's say the loan class so what i'll be doing i'll be going in this one okay and then defining also the page so here we are giving a class so three parameter we defined so take a look again so report name report class and page name so first two were mandatory last one is um, optional but still we are setting okay uh, like we can execute our activity on this also so that will also work so let's define in this this uh, page okay in pages and classes so let's copy this one and we can give it like this okay now the last step is so we have we set the mandatory parameter now we need to execute that activity so param dot execute we can give any name okay and we'll try to execute that activity so to execute that activity you can go to browse and search a functions with activity so here you can see that px and execute an activity so the first one it will take the page name and the second is it will take the activity name so we will be giving that so activity is this one uh, both the name is same px retrieve data so px retrieve data and the first is that page name okay so if you see whatever the mandatory parameter it was there we given and then we executed it activity as well now let's run and see that what issue also you can get okay and obviously if you're a very senior person then you'll be able to figure it out but if you're a junior okay how to resolve this one so let's see if i'll run this one do we get any error okay so let's see that so what i'll be doing i'll be trying to trace as well so let me see looks like some tracer is already open no it's not open so maybe i have to log off and log in once so i will do that so we'll go to dev studio and try to open run dt from okay so now let's try to execute this one and we'll try to trace as well and let's see if you're getting an error so see you can see that case list page when we're doing it we're getting an error okay the report content page doesn't exist or it's not an invalid class so it's a saying that report content page doesn't exist or refers to an invalid class okay so what does it means is that we need to define this page this case list page okay okay so as a code pega list okay so the way we when we try to do obj browse similar way we need to define the page here also so this page should go as a px result and this should become the class and for this class it should be code pega list so this is what i was trying to say that you might get error because you will think that okay i have already defined the class okay with the proper uh, uh, like I have already defined the page name with the proper class name so why it is giving an error okay so to fix that what we need to do is first we need to give case list page as a code pega list and then we need to define case page case list page dot px result with your actual class for which you have the result okay now let's try to run it now hopefully it will work why it didn't trace let me see that let's try to execute execute so we have already defined our class initially what we saw is that case page list was defined with this actual class okay so what we did we we defined case list a page class with a page with a code pega list and that uh, page name case page list or px result with our actual class so now let's run and see if we are getting the result 
without any issue so i think uh, yeah still it is it is not working okay the report content so you can see this issue as well okay now how to resolve this one okay so to resolve this one we our page is already exist on the clipboard okay so what we can do we need to delete that page because initially that page was created with ks page list or we can log off and log in and, and then also we can try or we can uh, uh, we can add a step to remove that and later we can uh, remove that step so let's find out that simplest things is that case page list right we can go to a standard okay and we can delete that class simply see it's a saying base class let's delete this page and we can try that to execute again so th this kind of a small issue which you can get okay which might be frustrating because you are not doing anything wrong okay but see still it is getting okay so what we can do what I'll be doing here, okay, that I'll simply add a step in the above. I'll say remove and to remove which page we want to remove this one, okay. And one more important thing which you need to do is, okay, that in report definitions, okay, here we didn't get as of now that issue, but you can get it, is that you can get null pointer issue as well. So best way in data transform that if you're using any page, you can define as update page so that will create the page as well, okay. So I, I was getting that initially, okay. So it's better always to define. So comment, just just use update page and give that page name. So in like the way we do in activity, right, page new. So the first what we're doing is removing this one. So this is first time only required, okay. You can, if your business needs, then you can do it always. But yeah, it's a good to have also removal or you can do it in the beginning or in the end. I'm doing in the beginning because my page was already created with a wrong class. Okay, that is where. Now let's see that if we'll execute and we are getting it or result or not. So see this time it worked, right? Now, so we are getting 26 result. And if you remember in, in, in the, like when we ran that RD, that time also we got that uh, 26 results. Now if I'll go ahead and change this one, right? So ideally, let's say you want to put this remove things in the end. Okay. So that also you can do depending on your business needs. Okay, it was uh, first time it was not working because the page was created with the wrong. Now the page is correct. Okay, so ideally we can move this case page list in the end. We can delete this step and this will also work. Now let me close and run it again. Trace, run. See this time also it is working so it's a small things only okay but if you don't know right it can be sometimes frustrating okay because for writing a small things we are getting three issues the, the first issue is that you need to define uh, your page okay so the page name should be based on like uh, the page name should the page the class of the page should be code pega list and then class uh, page name that uh, px results should be your class so this is the first thing the second thing is that if you already executed if you have made that mistake then also it will not work okay so then you need to remove that page and also you need to initialize this page otherwise it can give a null pointer exception this is what uh, this is what i wanted to show you how we can run the report definitions okay from the rd uh, from the data transform yes obviously as as i said in the beginning that most of the times you can do it from the data page but if any in any scenario if you need it you can do it in this way so this is it thank you thank you very much have a good day bye